We're really excited to be here today. I know that you're obviously anxious to get started with your college application process, um, and this is the place to start. Uh, SAT versus ACT, which one is right for you? And I thought uh, this program was very informative, uh, especially uh, to understand the differences between SAT and ACT. And definitely, um, I really understood a lot about each of these exams. And when uh, my son starts to study, uh, which is next year, I'm definitely gonna uh, look up this program uh, and see whether it makes sense for him. I don't know why the ACT hasn't hit the Asian market as hard as the SAT has because that test can really make a huge difference for a lot of students. They're not really assess assessing your like science knowledge, it's just like they provide like background on each question but like you don't have to understand that to do well on the questions, you just have to understand what the graphs are saying. So what you're saying is it's about analysis rather than being a great scientist. Exactly. So I keep coming back to this phrase. Once you have prepared, you can do well in both the tests. The biggest thing I've gathered out of tonight is that it's worthwhile not just doing the SATs but doing the ACTs as well because universities aren't just looking for one standardized test, they're looking for as much information as they can because they get thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of applicants all the time and they need to differentiate. So when you have two tests and all your other application stuff, having more information is beneficial. So clearly a program which gives you the SATs and the ACTs is much better. So my endeavor with Test Rocker has been not just to digitalize a test prep or just reproduce a book on, you know, online. That's of no use. Uh, what I, my endeavor has been to bring myself to the student and to study with the student wherever and whenever he or she wants to study. I think uh, preparation is the key to success.